long-awaited 1022 stovepipe issue update video. I, since the last video, I have put a, I believe, a Volkortsen extractor in this one. This one is still factory, and my wife actually has another 1022 that I put a tandem cross extractor in because it was having the same issue. Um, long story short, the extractor helped significantly with stovepiping issues with this gun. Um, the ammo I was using and having issues with, or began having issues with, is this. Um, for the longest time it worked great, and then slowly I started having stovepipe issues. If I run the CCI mini mags, it's pretty much 100%. Um, either way, we'll cut away for a second. I'll show you the range video from today shooting the last remaining rounds of this stuff. I saved some specifically for testing, so I had some of the same batch and everything, but Here's the video of that quick. I guess it only has like four or five in it. So as you can see from that little video, um, it's pretty much 100% reliable with the ammo that I've been putting through it now. Um, like I said, this was the stuff I did have the issue with and I saved, what was it, 35, 36 rounds, something like that. <clears throat> and they all worked except for that one that did have a good hit on the rim of it. It was definitely just a bad round. Um, otherwise, it's pretty darn reliable the way it is now with that full quartz and extractor. Um, people will tell you up and down that an extractor won't fix this issue, a stovepipe issue. Um, in theory, they're right, I suppose, but... Uh, you know, real world results don't lie. So um, that's literally the only thing I did is change that extractor. Um, it is worth noting that before I changed that extractor, I did run some mini mags through it, and it was a lot more reliable with mini mags. However, it still had an issue here and there. So again, people will tell you up and down that the extractor won't fix it, but it it may not fix it 100%. But it definitely makes or at least in my instance, it made a big difference. So um, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'd be happy to answer them for you if I can. So until next time, happy shooting.